When we praise our God and pray it with praise as we present ourselves before you today to worship the Lord Jesus Christ and the Father and the Holy Ghost, we trust you had a good, triumphant and victorious week, irrespective of the wars or battles we have got to fight, which will not end until the trumpet blow in the eastern sky, the trump of God. So we are meeting together to worship our triumphant Lord in whom through whom we gain all triumphs and victories. Blessings to you wherever you are at all across the earth. Blessings to your family, lineages, parents, loved ones, blessings to your countries. We just love the Lord and just are about to start a little bit late as usual. But Consistently, we are pressing on the upward way. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bye and bye. When the morning comes, when all the saints of God are coming home, we will tell the story how we overcome. We will understand it better by and by. That is to I for me. Glory to God. Bye, 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 bye. Bye and bye. Oh, it's when the morning comes. When all the saints of God are gathered home. We will tell the story how we overcome. We will understand it better by and by. Oh, go me by. By and by, when the morning comes, when all the saints of God are gathered, oh, we will tell the story when we overcome. We will understand it better by and by. Oh, glory by and by and by, when the morning comes, when all the saints. Of God are gathered home, we will tell the story how we overcome. We will understand it better by and by. Oh, try to start on every hand, and we cannot understand all the way that God will lead us safely to that promised land. But we're trusting in His word and according to His word, we will understand it.
the land, in the sunny land. Oh, a new, 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 new name in the sunny land. A new name, a precious name in the sunny land. New name, precious name in the sunny land. Oh, a new name, a precious name in the sunny land. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Jesus is the name. My God and Counselor, bring some peace is He and always saving me and always keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. Mighty God and Counselor, bring some peace is He and always saving me and always keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. Wonderful, wonderful Jesus is to me. Mighty God and Counselor, Prince of Peace is He, you know, He's saving me, you know, He's keeping me from all sin and shame. Wonderful is my Redeemer, praise His name. How great is all God, how great is His name. He's the greatest one. Forever the same, he rolled back the waters from the mighty sea. And he says, I need you, put your trust in me. How great is our God, how great is his name. He's the greatest one, forever the same. He rolled back the waters from the mighty red sea. Oh, he said, I need you, put your trust in me. How great is all God, how great is His name, He's the greatest one, forever the same. He rolled back the waters from the mighty Red Sea, and He says, I leave you, put your trust in me. I've heard that whole old story, how a silver came from glory, how He gave His life on Calvary to save a rich like me. I've heard about his groaning of his precious blood atoning. And someday I will sing up there the song of victory. There is victory in Jesus, oh my Savior, now forever. Who sought me while and he's bought me with his redeeming blood. You know he loved me here and knew him while and all my love is doing. He's glad me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I've heard about the mansion he has built for me in glory. Yes, and I've heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. About the angels singing of their bold redemption story. And some sweet day I sing of there the song of victory. There is victory in Jesus, yes, my Lord, Savior forever. Who saw me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me here and he Oh, my Lord, my love is you. He's left me into victory beneath the cleansing flood. Oh, I've heard about the mansion he has been for me in glory. I've heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea. All the angels singing of the old redemption story. And some sweet day I sing up there the song of victory. Oh, there's victory in Jesus, my Lord, my Savior, my God forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me here and knew me. Oh, my Lord, my love is new. He's brought me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. My Savior, my Lord forever, well, he sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loves me here and you me, woe and all my love is true. He brought me into victory beneath the cleansing flood. I've heard about the mansion he has built for me in glory. I've heard the Bible streams of war beyond the crystal sea about the angels singing of the old redemption story. And such a damn singing of there the song of victory. Oh, there's victory in Jesus, now my Savior, my Lord forever. He sold me one, he bought me 
with his redeeming blood. He loved me here and knew me while my Lord, my love is doing. He's clutched me for victory beneath the cleansing flood. Yes, the victory in Jesus, my Lord, Savior forever. Who sought me and he bought me while with his redeeming blood. He loved me here and knew me while my Lord, my love is doing. He's touched me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. Since there is victory in Jesus, my Lord, my reverend Savior forever, who sought me and has bought me high, 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 bearing this redemptive blood. Say I love him. He loved me here and knew him. Whoa, whoa, and all my love is doing. He's plunged to me into his victory. We need the cleansing flood. There is victory in Jesus. My Lord, my Savior forever. Oh, you know you saw us. <laughs> and his ball to side high high with his, his redeeming precious atoning blood. Wow, he loved us long before we knew him. Wow, 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 and all oh, love is due. Yes, he's touched us into victory beneath the cleansing flood. One more time. Lord, there's victory in your very name, dear Jesus. You're our Lord, our rock of all ages, our Savior forever. Lord, you sought us and you bought us with your redeeming blood. I will love you, Lord. Say you loved us long before we ever knew you, Lord. Wow, I don't is dear you, yes, you plunged us into victory beneath the cleansing flood. I love that song. We walk in victory, Jesus is victory, oh yes, our oh, Lord, our oh, Savior, most reverend forever. He sought us and He bought us our oh, 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 with Him. Redeeming, precious, atoning blood. You know he loved us long before we knew him, friend. I, 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 and all is due us our love. All our love is due him. He's plunged us into victory beneath the cleansing flood. Heavenly sunlight, I, 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 we are rejoicing, singing His praises all the day long. Heavenly sunlight, Lord, open the portals of glory and shine on us, we pray today and every day. Heavenly sun, heavenly sun, heavenly sunlight, yeah, yeah. Please flood our souls overflowing, Lord, with glory, your glory divine. I glorify us with thyself, thy own self, and the glory we have with you before the foundation of the world. Oh, hallelujah. We are rich of voices. Sing his praises, in Jesus is mine. Jesus, your name is the sweetest name. We know in this life and the life to come for all eternity. I, 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 I. And dear 
just the same. <laughs> but like your own, your name, that's the reason why we love you so. Oh, my God, and my friend. Oh, for Jesus, your name is the sweetest name we know. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So oh, there is something about. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
John 3 16 said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life almighty God we thank you Jesus Christ please save us by the blood of the redemption in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Lord we give you praise Lord we give you worship Lord we give you adoration we give you thanksgiving for there is no one like you and no one can compare to you father we surrender all our sins to you in the name of Jesus Father, we repent from all our sins that we have committed today, in the past, and in the future in the name of Jesus. Father, we repent from the sin of lying in the name of Jesus. Father, we repent from the sin of anger in the name of Jesus. Father, we repent from the sin of immorality and our bad habits in the name of Jesus. Power of God, destroy the works of sin in our lives in the name of Jesus. O oh God, show us the way of your salvation in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary. Wash away our iniquities and make us holy in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that total freedom through the cross of Calvary fall upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, Father, let your mercy speak forgiveness into our lives in the name of Jesus. We are redeemed by the blood of Jesus, as in Ephesians 1 verse 7. Father, do not use our past sins to serve as punishment and judgment. We are now ready to do a full repentance of all our sins today in the name of Jesus. Father, we drink the blood of Jesus as it declared today. Mighty God, the blood of Jesus set us free completely today in the name of Jesus, Father. I confess and we confess our sins to you today. We confess the sin of our past and rebuke the sin we know nothing about in the name of Jesus. Oh God, give us the power to resist sin and its effect in our lives in the name of Jesus. Every sin of Saul in our lives today die in the name of Jesus. Every sin of Delilah in our lives be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus. We refuse to be a candidate of hell fire in the name of Jesus. Father, we are determined to put on our new identity. Grant us the grace to flee from sin in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, let us possess the fruit of the Spirit. Henceforth, in our home, in our community, in our job, in our ministry, in our family, in our marriages, in the name of Jesus. Our Father, if our name is in the book of hellfire, wipe it out away in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we are determined to seek after your work as from today in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. We give you glory. As I take this time to give it back to Minister Vassal, we are just going in prompt with the Holy Spirit for he's the lead, he's our way, and we will go what he says we must do in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Until the day. Like that one? Yep. Okay. Is your lead. Praise the Lord. Did it? Thank you. Hallelujah. Sorry. Sing one of my theme songs. Praise the Lord. Oh, Lord, help me out of all. Far beyond this night. And they help me out of all. Oh, 
the world's fierce winds are blowing, temptation sharpening. What friend I have, the peace he knowing, my Savior stands between. Oh, how wow, he stands to shield me from danger when all my friends are gone. You know that he promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. No, 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 I never. I'm never alone, oh yes, no, I'm never, I'm never alone, Jesus Christ, he never leave me, never to leave me alone, no, 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 I'm never, I'm never He'll never leave me, never leave me alone. When I think of time, I tread the road of care. You know that my Savior helps me to carry my cross. Why so heavy to bear? You know that through all the world, what means darkness? This earthly joy is a flow. You know my Savior whispers his promise. I never will leave you alone. No, no, no. I'm never, I'm never alone, oh, no. I'm never, I'm never alone. Jesus promised he never leave me, never to leave me alone. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm never, I'm never Never alone, Jesus promised he never leave me, never to leave me alone. He died on Calvary's mountain for me, the cares his time, you know that for me. Jesus opened in the blessed fountain of his precious blood with the crimson sun cleansing time. Oh, friend, for me, he is waiting in glory. See dead upon his throne. Yes, he promised never. Never alone, Jesus Christ. He 
He'll never leave Never to leave me alone No, 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 no I never, I never Thank 
Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. We have the victory. Praise the Lord. Mighty God, woman of God, I was just calling, but God is good. We've got a prayer here. Praise God in the mighty name of Jesus. And at this time, we're going to welcome no other than our dear sister, our prophetess, and our friend. The enemy is a defeated foe because we have the victory. Hallelujah. Do you know that we are in a warfare with our device? If you not know that, you know, the enemy controls the atmosphere, the airway, the gadget, the technology, and everything. So when we are to pray, he comes in and he forms what he wants to form. And this is why we have to worship him. This is why we have to give God the glory. We have to worship the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As you know, Minister Glenn has sent forth the prayer. She's faithful week after week. And now we are ready to pray. And guess what, prophetess? They are coming, cutting down the prayer. But thank God for the victory because we've got your prayer. Praise God. The prayer are for eternity. And so we give God all the glory, all the praise. All thanksgiving for what he has done and for what he's about to do as I will play the two minute prayer and then we will continue on with another prayer glory be to God God is good amen yes praise the Lord hallelujah to God be the glory do you know that God is good all the time and all the time God is good Yes, Lord. Oh, Father God, we adore you. Yes, Lord. Oh, Father God, we are so wonderful. 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 Oh, Father God, we Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, I will. I will. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I will. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, I will. After this one. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, mighty God. Hallelujah, yes. Hallelujah, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mighty God. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Mighty God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mighty God. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Yes, Lord. Mighty God. Yes, Lord. Mighty God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. We need you, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We need you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. Mighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 
praising and praising Jesus so better redeemer. Sing all earth is wonderful love proclaim. Hailing, hailing, I spark it is in glory. Strength and honor give to his holy name. Like a shepherd, this is the guide his children in his arms. He'll carry them all day long. Praise him, praise him, tell of his excellent greatness. Praise him, praise him, ever in joyful song. Praise him, praise him, Jesus, so blessed Redeemer. Sing on earth is wonderful love proclaim. Hail him, hail him, I start king to sing glory. Strength and honor give to his holy name. Like a shepherd, Jesus will guard his children in his arms. He'll carry them all day long. Praise him, praise him. Tell of his excellent greatness, praise him, praise him, ever in joyful soul. Praise the Lord, glory to God, God bless you, minister. Thank you, God. I just want to thank um, Prophetess Minister Glenn and her blessed family. Praise the Lord. I want to thank the Holy Spirit. I want to thank Jesus the Word, and I want to thank the Lord God Almighty. I thank God for each and every one that are joining us today, and for those that will be joining us thereafter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to give honor to our dear spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor. Praise the Lord, who is taking us on a 40-day journey of the warrior's intercession leading up to i believe to the new opening or the cutting ribbon of the new campus that god has brought to our dear ministers our friends and our kingdom family to god be the glory we thank god for the new mission and for the commission of our spiritual father to save America and to pray and to heal and to bring a mighty deliverance to the nation and not just to America but globally and internationally. Glory to God. I want to take this time to give honor to my husband, Minister Solomon Elkana Vassal. We give God all the glory. We give him all the praise. You look good, sir, man of God. I thank God for you. You look like a nice army warrior. Thank God. Do you know that Minister Vassal is one of my greatest intercessors? He is also a mighty armor and valor in the kingdom of God. I thank God for the weapon of my husband. Because do you know that any target try to shoot at me, it first must go to my husband. As you know, God is the head of the man, which is my husband, and my husband is the head of me. So any target, any weapon, any scheme, any assassination, any death or plot that try to come at me, first it has to go to Minister Vassal. And so many times, you know, Minister Vassal will be afflicted. He might be going through a lot of things. He suffered because he's watching at night. He's interceding, he's praying, he's prophesying. He's the spiritual head. So he's seeking the Lord. And so when the enemy cannot come at me, he will try to target my husband. But I thank God for his supernatural strength. We thank God for the strength of a couple because when he see unity, the Lord command the blessing. And in this war, he's not alone. We are together. And that's why he sings this song never never alone because God says in his word he will never leave us and he will never forsake us and that word will not go back to him void so I'm speaking to you two uh, people of God that if you don't have a husband or a wife I want to let you know that Jesus is with you his word never 
fail. He says he will never leave you and he will never forsake you. So it doesn't matter what the enemy is throwing at you. It doesn't matter what he's whispering in your ear. All that matters is that his word says he will never leave us and he will never forsake us. I thank God for the victory over our family and our friends, over the kingdom of God and the church. And I thank God for what he's about to say, thus saith the Lord. I give God all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving. I give honor to our mothers, to Mrs. Louise Vassell and Miss Norma Green. I give honor to each and every one. I thank Prophetess Crystal Glenn for being a faithful friend. I thank God for our relatives, our in-laws, our by-laws, and our siblings and our children, Zelavine and Anthony, and all of Minister Vassal's children and grandchildren. I thank God for what he has done and for what he must about to do. And as I take this time, I welcome my minister, my companion, my lover and my friend, and your minister, your pastor, Minister Solomon Elkana Vassal. I give God all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving for what he has done and for what he's about to do. In Jesus' name I pray. I welcome you, sir. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As you know, it's just Minister Vassal and myself. So please excuse us as we are doing multitasking. Hallelujah. 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 God is I good. Stand <laughs> to honor our Father Yahweh mm -hmm. this day, the head of the kingdom of God, the head of our lives, the head of our, the head of our lives. And I honor the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life, through whom yeah. Thank you, we sir. all come to the Father to make our petitions known, to, through whom we have acquaintance with the Father. And such an acquaintance that if we really please the Lord Jesus Christ, with the best of our ability by His grace, He introduces us to the Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. And we honor the sweet, fragranced presence of the Holy Spirit that mm -hmm. abides with us through our wars and fights and indifferences and tribulations and trials and compilations of complications. Yes, Lord. He, the seat, representative of the Lord Jesus Christ, counsels us and guides us and leads us into all truth. He is our helper, the third person of the Godhead body. Yes, so exceedingly blessed is the church of the living God that God has afforded us one member of the Trinity to be our helper. Yes, Lord. Many of us have found it hard and or impossible to help each other. But God the Holy Ghost is down to earth spirit and person that acquaints himself with us through our trials and testings. He goes between us and the, and the, the, son, the son, Jesus, and he intercedes on our behalf and he gives us the end. I just want to dwell on that part where he helps us in our infirmities. I'm learning more and more each day to depend on him. Right now I'm just relaxing before you used to be a bit anxious when it comes down to this time and by the time I get to the service I'm tired but I'm learning now to rest in the sweet presence of the Holy Spirit and if I attempt to do anything like praying or so on I find that he's not attending to my needs I wait for him mm -hmm. so I gave a to the tune this morning and we honor In the words, Lord, the Apostle David A. Taylor, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. man of war, man of great teaching and mm -hmm. revelations and impartations, mm -hmm. it's indeed a great honor to be under his mantle doing a ministry. It's an honor from God to have met him mm -hmm. personally. 
but more so in the spirit. The Bible says, now I know, or now we know no one after the flesh. Yes, Lord. Physical appearances can just be not right or can fool us, but when we get to know a brother or sister in the spirit and by the spirit, it makes a difference because the Holy Spirit reveals us who this person is and guides us how to appoint ourselves accordingly. So we honor the man of God. I can't do that because I know what it is to enter the wayfaring highway and haven't gone far and he got me like a while after I attempted to to go on that way for in my way and he passed me and he went to the place to the throne of grace and mercy to see the father for himself and to come back with many revelations and impartations to give to us so i have taken this time to honor you apostle david e taylor you deserve it sir you paid the price and you've set the way any one of us who want to come to the throne of grace and mercy to find help for the time of need can do it because we know of a man who has done it. Not only Jesus Christ has done it and made the way for us. But we thank you, sir, for paving that way for us and for covering us and for revealing all the mysteries and wonders we have that we get in all the years of our so-called salvation. We salute you, we honor you, we bless Jane and my ministry. We bless your ministers, we bless your endeavors, we thank God for how God is exalting you. Oh God is granting you yes, your Lord. petitions and supplications yes. and the promises he made you, he's fulfilling them right before very eyes. I am very, very contentedly happy with the Lord that he has birthed me and caused me to be alive at this very special time of the last of the last days. And we are seeing the wonders of God come into fruition. Hallelujah. I'm not in any haste, I love you all. Yes, Lord. And I am amazed. I'm infused, I'm encouraged. I am infused by the grace of God to follow the example of this young man who was again, like all others, born to be a leader and started off on the wrong way. And the Lord Jesus Christ has came and introduced himself to him. And the rest is history. I hear Paul say, Thank you, honey. God bless you. I love you. I hear Paul saying that I might know him, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of his suffering and the power of his resurrection, that I might become conformable unto his death, even the death of the cross of Calvary. So it's not a possibility to tell our Lord who is introduced or invited to go to that place. We all can get there if we want to in our endeavors and uh, in our call and revelation. We all have Hallelujah. calls, particularly from the Lord. Hallelujah. Every one of us, I have heard a very profound minister ministering today and through the week that my wife is always beginning to this refined minister who teaches. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we all have a call. Hallelujah. And even those of us who are doing ministry of hell, it's called ministry for him to say anyone who finds time to do kingdoms business but they domesticated related or otherwise we are called ministers so it's an honor of honors Hallelujah. kingdom of god honor on this earth to be yes, called to whatever yes, ministry god god has called us to so the lord has called the apostle to possibly to where he's called him yeah. because he pays the price in obedience Accepting God's preordained will for his life. God has brought him to where So I just want to exalt the Bible said we give honor to our honor, honor to you. Yes, Lord. It's a word. Mm -hmm. We don't worship anyone but Jesus. We mm -hmm. might worship Jesus in someone. We might see him walking, living through someone, and yes, we adore him. And we give respect to the best vessel that carries the Lord Jesus Christ away. I, I don't mind spending this time. To speak of what I see, what I'm enjoying Hallelujah. of this great Hallelujah. blessed man. Yes, Lord Jesus. So humble. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And I honor my dad and wife. Mm -hmm. I could talk about her for the rest of this service. I'm not thinking to say all I'd like to say. <laughs> I just want to say that if there's anyone within the reach of my voice who's aspiring to something or somewhere or someplace in God, 
the Lord has brought you to a place of trials and testings and tribulations, please ask Him for grace. Hallelujah. And there it is. Speaking to my God, I was affiliated with some African brethren, a country that has been paying. So with his sacrifices, hallelujah, we these North American, South American countries, Latin European nations are so blessed in comparison to some of those African brethren in the earth. The white man has gone in and stole their blessings like gold and oil and all those things and abused them so much. And for whatever reason they pay a wicked sacrifice in their lives, we are encouraging you to be steadfast and being unmovable in the Lord and whatever sacrifice he calls you to, please ask him for grace. Hallelujah, for we have to be tested and tried. And so we can come forth as pure gold. We need to have the refiner's fire. So I thank God for refining this fine baby. Hallelujah. And bringing me into my life, changing the trajectory of my life when he told me. I just begun to live. I hadn't begun to comprehend what he was saying, but the son says, Oh, it's real. It's real. Praise God, my doubts are settled. And I know within my being, I know that I know it's free. So I thank you for the lady standing for just a second. For this lady standing beside me who is a, a tower of strength to me. I just want to wrap it by the word of truth. And this is the one is the weaker vessel in comparison to the man. But where she's strong most times, we are very weak. I, I find, I thank God for not just a near wife, but a prophetess, an intercessor, a tough person. Who God speaks to and through uh, whom I hear the voice of the Lord speaking directly and indirectly, verbally and unverbally. <sighs> Where I witness the presence of the Trinity indwelling, empowering, and enlightening right within my own life. I'm so grateful to you, Father, for taking my time this morning. I might not even be able to go to the Word. If I can't, I can't, but I, I have a testimony. I want to encourage others. I speak testimony. I speak from Hallelujah. an experiential anointing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so I just want to take time. I might just be able to encourage just one person, even one person. I will feel full, I feel fulfilled in the Lord if He uses me yes. to console and encourage one brother, one sister, Hallelujah. one family. Yes, I'm not really anxious about Everything else because he's the one that leads the way. The steps of a good man are all dirt by the Lord, you know what I mean? And sometimes he all your steps in a way they can't comprehend and it seems so undergirding, it seems so tiny and so insignificant. But who is the one that causes us to be issued? My wife has a testament she wants to share. So I think I'll allow her to do that first. Because we live together, we share together, we feast on the things of God together, and I'm not gonna reconstruct her or restrict her. So she can share the love of God to us. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. I thank God for what He has done and for what He's about to do. As you know, that this is the end time and God is exposing what needs to be exposed. Praise the Lord. And as I was standing here, the Lord just brought back to my remembrance that the other day, I had a dream, not even a week ago, but the Lord brought a dream back to me as I was standing. So I thank God for Minister Vassell allowing me to speak. And I don't know where I was at, but all I knew that this place was green. It was outside, so it had to be outside, but it was also a mixture of outdoor and also with snow. And if you know that sometimes even in the island or in the African country, snow can fall in spite that it's summer or what season it is because God allow a season to fall. But as I was here, I remember a dream very clearly that where I was at, it was dark. It had to be about after the midnight hour. And I was taken outdoors and I was saying, why was I here? But when I look around me to the neighbor to the right and to the left, I noticed that there was light. But the light that was coming was not the light within the household. It was a light that was coming from a fire. 
and these people were not having a campfire, but they were having a fire because they were burning people. They were burning souls of man and children. And so I was wondering why was I seeing this? But also what the Lord showed me in the dream was this beautiful home. And this beautiful home was really nice on the outside and it was beautifuler on the inside. And so I was taken in this home from room to room. And when I went there, I noticed that there was no male. There was no male that was there. The male was missing, but there was a female. And so this female was there, but she didn't know that I was there. And the Lord was taking me from room to room. But what the Lord showed me was under the ground or the foundation of the house, there was like a cemetery. And you know what cemetery is. It like there was a ground that people were buried under that ground. And I was like, my God. And so the Lord is showing me today that many island, many people near and far, they're using ritual to bury pe people or children dead or alive under the foundation of the home. And the last thing that I wanted to show that also outside there was like snow. And these people were doing rituals that they were also removing the snow and they were putting these people buried under the snow but little did you know that they were covering up but when i went to that spot i knew something had happened because it's like the snow had melted and they were trying to cover it up and the lord was sh showing me these spots that were burial ground where people were burying people under the earth so I want to share this dream that whosoever is doing this, that we must repent because the Lord is exposing what needs to be exposed and there's judgment that is coming because there's many innocent lives that are taken and sometimes we're looking for our children, sometimes we're looking for a family and we don't know they're gone missing. But the Lord is showing that people are using these things and they are exposed because what we cannot see with our natural eyes, God is showing this Amen. to the dreamers. Amen. If you are a dreamer, as our spiritual father have taught us even this past few days, that if you are a dreamer, the Lord will show you dream. He will give us morning dream. He will give us dream of what is happening. And so the Lord is saying that we must repent 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 because it is murder and it is a killing and the lord says we shall not kill and we shall not murder but god is no respect to a person he's exposing this because he wants one to repent and so that their life will not be in hellfire and then they will burn for all eternity so that's what the lord was showing me man of god i needed to share this because as you know that uh, last week I shared the dream and it was just the day that I shared the dream, what was happening about the flood was, um, I didn't even know this was happening, but our spiritual father have shared what they have done, that they were doing a mockery to our Lord Jesus Christ and they were mocking and few days I guess there was like a big tsunami, there was a flood, there was all sort of storm that came into this country and you know what country I'm speaking. But because of their sin, because of their mockery, because of their abomination, the Lord bring a speedily judgment. And I remember sharing this last week where the Lord was showing me that he was going to bring a flood upon the land. And this flood happened the day that I was speaking and days after this what became of this place. And so we want to share this dream that if we are found guilty of what the Lord is speaking, what he's sharing, what he's bringing to um, the dreamers, that we have to ask God mercy and we have to ask for his forgiveness from death and from going to hell fire. I thank God, man of God, for allowing me to speak. 
as I am not the speaker, but I thank God for Minister Vassal for bringing today's message for what he has done and for what he's about to do. In Jesus' name, Almighty God, we give God all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving for what he has done and for what he's about to do. Amen. Thank you, man of God. Hallelujah. We take the Thank you. message of the Lord very seriously. Thank you, sir. We're just about being prepared for the war against the war of the enemy. And before I begin to speak, I, we thank God for Apostle David Peter, who is bent on fighting the principles and powers that is hastening or trying to hasten the mm. Third World War. And, where it will start in America, the United States of America. And so he's been having repetitious prayer fund intercession when 21 days in February and he has a 40 days prior time plan to seek the Lord. The Lord says that when he, we repent before him, he hears our repentance. He turns thing around and I love prophets and prophetesses who prophesy God's plan for us and prophesize his wrath. But I love also prophets like Jeremiah who said not all over my dead body until it reaches that point or until it reaches that point where the Lord had to tell him to stop. He will not hear. So we thank God for us maybe hear a voice petitioning the Lord leading as many who will join with him and his plan for times ask the Lord to avert the war that has been shown to him and many, many, many others, not only in America but other countries, because it won't be nice for us. We are complaining now, especially after the pandemic, things have gone up and so and so forth, but that will be nothing like what's happening here now with that war is not averted. So let's stand with him. John with him in prayer. He has planned times and all that. Try to find out how we can support him, leave it on our own where we can. The Bible says, men ought always to pray and did not to faint. And a five minutes prayer, if that's all he can do, is as good as an hour if he can do an hour. And the Bible says, one child chase a thousand and two shall put ten thousand to flight. So as many as of us who were drawn together to fight. This war in unity, we have the victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I, I've been talking a little bit before your people, and I'm about to share your heart's desire yes, with us. Yes, I pray you forgive me of any sin, any transgression, any guilty any impurity, anything that's not of you, that I'm guilty of, Lord. For you wash me, sprinkle me with your precious blood, and so powerful. That one drop removes all stains. Yes, and Father, we thank you for cleansing me by the washing of water with your word as I stand as an instrument to speak your way of word and your will. Yes, I give myself to you, quite partly, spirit, soul, and body. I pray to take over and lead and speak through me. Let your name be glorified. I thank you. We love you, sir. Yes, we call it done. I thank God also for my mother and my wife's mother. Yes, as motherless into this place where we are now assuming kingdom responsibility. And I want to speak a little bit. I don't know about making titles and all that, but if I should or could, I would use this one be still. And know that I this supernatural, supernatural God that we have only had introduction to. Amen, amen. <laughs> we still don't know that I am God. Amen, amen. He said, I will. Help us speak and draw back. He speaks with authority and power and precision in mind. Yes. I will it, I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. I don't know if I should go to the word first in the part of the scripture Psalm 46 or I should just do the briefings I have here. I think I just start with these briefings I have here. Why should we be still and acknowledge God? Recognize God in all our ways. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Proverbs 3 6 says, In all our ways we are to acknowledge God and He shall direct all Catholics. We have gotten saved, a lot of us, many of us are going in the church, or whenever we come in the church and we get some measure of knowledge of who God is and what He expects of us, but we still do not seek Him enough. And acknowledging in all our ways, I find myself guilty there, I find a lot of the my brothers and sisters guilty there. Like David, who will acknowledge Him and have the Lord to direct His path. So this is one reason why I would encourage us all to be still when we come to circumstances in our lives, here is our lives that we do not know which way to go. We do not know to handle our circumstances. We fast and we pray and we administer all the bits of knowledge that God has given to us. I used to hear him say to me when I in my younger uh, ministerial pursuit of him, and I used to stand on his word. Uh, According to what I know, I think I know, and I, I kept on hearing him say many, many times to me, be still, um, still I know that I'm God, hallelujah, yeah, amen. glory to God, you know, amen. And, and I want to lead to my understanding, and I said, Lord, but this is your word, but then he had to reveal to me that I only have a portion, I know a portion of his word, I don't even know how to rightly divide the word of truth, so, when we come to areas of our lives when it's really, when I'm getting no direction from the Lord. We are accustomed to practicing the religious concept that we have, or even the bits of knowledge that we have. And we see it not working, or the Lord is not confirming that which, which we think we have. Then we need to seek Him. We need to acknowledge Him. Amen. And He will have the privilege to direct us. Yes. Um, I might have spoken about this gentleman once um, in the group's progress, I think it's called John Bonian, who spent 12 years in prison for the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he wrote about Christian on the Christ, Christ, Christian journey. And Christian went through some trials, testings with false brethren and sincere brethren, and the two or three sincere ones that walked with him through his life went on before him and they was left alone to walk the rest of his journey. However, he came to a point in the road or the straight and narrow way where the road forks and he didn't have the discernment, he didn't wait on the Lord as to which of this road to take because they both looked like they were straight. But he just hastily went along without inquiring from the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. To be still an inquiry from the Lord we come to some areas of our life that we don't understand. And uh, he, he went on the wrong path, which eventually veered off from the straight and narrow way. And he had life pretty hard until he was, his eyes were spiritually gorged out by the giant of this theory. He scared for hope. Hallelujah. We need to know what God is saying to us in these end times, especially those of us who are fighting in the warfare. Uh, this spiritual war that we are fighting because there is no one as clever as that devil in warfare so if we don't have the holy spirit to speak to us and the word of god to counsel us then we will fail and could lose our lives yes. then i heard david saying in psalm 37 verse 4 thus be still and delight ourselves in the lord and then he shall give his eyes of our hearts so we come to the place of our lives and we expect Amen. certain blessings we are respect to arrive at a certain place we accept to we decide to fight for battles. We must also remember to always delight ourselves in the Lord. And delight ourselves in the, in the Lord is not always that which is nice and easy. Some warfares are ugly. Sometimes you don't even realize we're in a war because we, the Lord, the Bible said the devil left the Lord Jesus Christ only for a season. And there are times we seem to have that experience and that freedom to move in the grace of God that is provided a season of. But when the season is over, or the end of the season, or the end of the season, things that become difficult, then the Bible, the Lord wants us to delight ourselves in Him, yes. even through difficulty. And I'm speaking from an experience mm -hmm. that is leaving me in wonders and yes. amazement. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Wait. Hallelujah. Praise God. Be still and know that I'm God. When we come to the place when it's pretty tough, we need to stop and meditate and be still 
and wait for God to lead us. Then he says in Isaiah 55, 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be for call upon him while he is near. While we are becoming still before him and we don't know what to do, we don't know where to go, we are not sure of the path we are taking. It looks really just a light a rise. And everybody has seen to walk that way. Hallelujah. But God has Amen. another direction from you. Especially if you're really being led by him and you're in his army. Yes, so he says you're to seek the Lord while he may be found. Yes, and call upon him until he answers. I love to read a safari in the book of David. And I've had there many times I many months of I just I just spend time in, in the sun because I find it very similar to my life's experience and how David would go to the Lord with a prayer, a praise, a psalm, a confession or whatever and the Lord answers it back right in that psalm. Yes. This is how I learned this experience I'm sharing with you today. That God wants us to be still when we come to an era in our lives that we don't understand. Even sometimes I don't rush the prayer as I used to. I wait for the empowerment because I can do more when the Spirit of God anoint me. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He wants us to be still and awake upon him. In Isaiah 40 verse 30 and 31. God is saying, especially in this last of the last days, yes, Lord. especially now that we don't find the church as it used to be from my experience, more love, charitable, I grew up a little bit in Jamaica and the rural area where even if an unsaved neighbor becomes sick and have need the church to rally around that person. Hallelujah. We don't have that. We don't find that in these parts of the world. We don't carry each other's burden that I've experienced as it was when I was growing up in the church of course living off conscience, not even knowing the way that we know it now. So God is saying in our endeavor, in our pursuit, in our walk with Him, even the youth, the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But I like this conjunction that joins this sentence. And to that, but they that wait on the Lord, when He commands us to be still and know His God, when He commands us to be still to ask Him direction, and help. Yes, Lord. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength because our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We cannot do spiritual warfare or even live a basic Christian life without the power of the anointing. So we are encouraged to wait on the Lord. It sometimes takes us days and months and years, even in the promises and the rimmer world that God gives us. Hallelujah. We're encouraged to be still and wait on Him so He renews our strength. Yes. Then we mount up on the wings of prayer and praise like an eagle. And we can ride through the storms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah of life like an eagle. Because we now realize we are in a storm and we cannot stay under. We have to ride the storm in prayer and praise. And the Bible said, in that case, we shall run and not become weary. Remember above it says, the youth shall faint and be weary. Huh? And the young man shall utterly fall. The young man shall utterly fall. So, our strength can come from the Lord, from the yes. joy of the Lord's so strength. Hallelujah. They shall run and not be weary. Hallelujah. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. If you see someone around you being strong in the Lord, up. Got to be someone who learned to wait upon the Lord and gain supernatural strength. Amen. Like Elijah or Elijah who ran before the chariot, ran faster than horse and chariot. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I have come from the Lord who made him and earth. He will not suffer so for the devil. Yes. He that keep us shall not slumber. Behold, he that keep on his spirit of Israelites because the church is referred to as spirit of Israelites. Behold, that keep in this prison, Israel shall not slumber, it shall neither slumber nor sleep. And he says in the word that he's our keeper. The son therefore shall not smite us by the end of the womb by night. The Lord is our provider and defender, he's our every help of the time of need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Back to one of my very admiring, well admiring brother 
in the faith of David in Psalm 130 verses 5 to 8. This man was testifying, he was talking of his experience. He says, I wait for the Lord. You know, I became still in my situation and I wait for him. Yes, I wait for the Lord and my soul wait. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. David is saying, I personally, King David, yes, Lord. wait for the Lord. Yes. He Amen. stopped and wait yes. when we realize that God is not here to go further with him. Yes. He waits, he lies in trench when Absalom was trying to take away the kingdom from him. He had to lay in trench. Ah, a man is humbled from being a king by his own son who forms an army against him and he had to wait nights upon nights laying in a trench hallelujah and soldiers are guarding him wait upon God for the end result yes, of God. this war that should not be yes, glory to God hallelujah and in his word do I hope that's one reason why we need to wait because at times the Lord will even tell us to wait and because of our anxiety, because of the fact that we know he's a miracle working, God in the us work things out like this, we tend to expect him to work within the realms of our thoughts or understanding and even our prayers. But David said, and in his word do I hope and I hold faith in him. My soul, my soul waited for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. It's an honor to rise up in the early mornings, really, really tired and really want to sleep if you can. Yeah. Glory to God, but you get up to watch for the morning, you get up to watch and pray. You get up to seek His face and He meets you in those hours for sure. Glory to God, David said, I say more than did that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in the Lord. Yes. While we are still, we hope, we wait for Him. For with the Lord there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption. And it brings us out victoriously. Amen. Hallelujah. It brings us out in the testimony. It brings us out with more of him burnt into us. Hallelujah. And what's not of us are of him is burnt out of us. And we are walking carriers of the residential power of Jesus the Christ. These things manifest many times through sufferings and patience. And he shall redeem his bread from all his iniquities. It never said some or maybe a part. The Bible said when we wait upon it, he shall redeem us from all our iniquities. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we encourage to wait upon the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a few things yes, I found from the Bible yes, that I just wanted to use, but I yes, want to go to Psalm 46, where I have lived many, 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 many years. Sometimes I'm around people, Christian people, speaking about the things of God. Yes. And they're frightened about this or that and take on the news and so on and so forth. I just sit down and wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Wait for Him. Because I've been through the storms and I've proven Him. If He doesn't come, I'm not moving. And He always come on time. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. So I'm here today to mostly encourage someone Amen. who needs to know that God is our refuge and strength, Hallelujah. a very present help in trouble. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So here it is saying that the saints of God have trouble and that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Or I want to say my way is this strong tower. There is no other tower comparable to the tower of the Lord Jesus Christ. So God is our refuge and strength. He's a very present help in trouble. Yes, Father God. I mean, never so like this. Nobody really like this. They have to become like Paul, who said the glory in this tribulation. Yes, Lord. But when we're in trouble, it makes us the Lord and get more intimacy. As I said before, you get more of the burnt inside of us through refiner's fire. Yes. The song says, refiner's fire. Yes, My heart's one desire mm. is to become holy, mm. set apart unto God exclusively. Whether you're married or unmarried, whether you're a child or you're an adult, whether you're father or mother, yes, God wants us to have that intimacy within. Yes, Glory to God. So David continues said, therefore will not we, or will not we fear, yes. though the earth be moved. And I specifically 
wanted to speak at this one. Yeah. Because in, in our circumstances, in our planning, in our endeavors, and a little bit of time seem as if the very earth is moved out of where it's supposed to be. We make plans and things work the other way. Hallelujah. Yeah. But the Bible is referring to us here to therefore we should not fear though things are not in place as it yes. appear. Amen, amen. And though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Praise God. The news around us today is not very good. But we need to know the Lord enough that we can wait on him to turn the tide around. Yes, Lord. And or if when he wishes to take us through. Yes, Sometimes I will remove the circumstances out of our lives. Sometimes we have to climb the mountain with him. Yes, and sometimes he brings us through. Really and sometimes you don't know how he does it or the situation disappears. Mm -hmm. But then like I said, they get more acquainted with him in an intimate way. And so though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the sun in their rough, the news today internationally, nationally, Lord, no location we were at are not good news at all. <laughs> and the Bible tells us the church will experience part of the great tribulation. Now we're going to have some experiences before this church is taken away and great tribulation begin to manifest. It says, it's going to be so bad that if the Lord does not shorten the days for the elect's sake, no soul shall be saved. Even the best of those of us who are saved will not make it if he doesn't shorten the day. That means that God has a plan for deliverance. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Sometimes he has a short the days of all adversaries. Let him do what he wants to do. Don't be over much righteous. Pray for your enemy. Love them. Uh, feed them. Bono sons and butter. If God chose to remove them, that's what he chooses to do. Nobody can take him to court. He gives grace and he gives mercy. And he shows kindness to the wicked as long as he chooses to. But when we seek the Lord and wait upon him, he decides to deal with these so-called wicked adversaries that is bent on shooting arrows at God's people and throwing spirits at us, at us and hindering us and destroying us when God is ready to deal with them. Uh, especially you intercessors that full of mercy. Just just learn to write the divine word of truth and let God be God. Hallelujah, God. I didn't intend to say that. Yes, Lord. It does happen, but I've seen it. And I've seen mm -hmm. it. This is a play with the Lord's word. After the Lord tells this person that the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. Who can understand that when God to deal with his enemy? Ah, play a fool and pray, pray the wrong prayer, which overtake the same person and eventually that person's gone and finished ministry. They want to go there. Okay. There is a river. I love this verse. Yes, it's referring to the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. The streams we are off shall make glad the city of God. Rivers are one of my admiring creation of God's handiwork, and we've had the chance to do a little service around the Hallelujah in Ontario. Praise God. We'll go on north from Toronto. We've gone up to Blue Mountain, and there is one of the great lakes. Uh, it's one of the great lakes that is in that area at the foot of um, Blue Mountain. I just like to stop there because I'm married this beautiful lake. And it seems to start our flow from those little lakes and those mountainous uh, street that comes down there. Praise God. And we have watched that lake and we've had a chance to uh, go through Hallelujah from Owen Sound and get into a place called Wyan Heart and realize the same river has become a lake here, Waratan. Yeah. Become a lake here and a river there, a lake here and a river there. Hallelujah. Then it gets into Bruce Peninsula <laughs> and becomes river and lake and all those things are very horrible. And we're going to, uh, towards Windsor and we get off uh, Praise God to come say, to come say. And uh, there we have the same river and lake flowing freely, going down into Windsor and creating another lake in the Windsor area and many lakes from there. And now we come to Crystal Lake here in the nearby Fort Thierry, Fort Thierry and Niagara Falls, I tell you differently, ends in Lake Ontario. And it does intrigue me that God creates this geography of, of flow, free flow of water. So admirable, doing so many wonders and the water in places and all that. And if God is using the natural river so beautifully to take care of those trees and 
water the place and flowing so wonderfully and bringing 13 million people to Niagara Falls, where we are ministering from. Then God is able by the river of the Holy Ghost to attend to us. The Bible says there is a river. The streams here of shall make glad the city of God. The Holy Ghost branches are from the power that He comes out with and He brings grace and anointing and empowerment to us wherever we are when we wait upon Him. Amen. That river is going to come and carry us and we find that our burden and our troubles becomes lighter because we wait upon the Lord. And the sweet Holy Ghost is sent to minister to us. And all the angels are being instructed by the Word or by the Holy Spirit to do their part. So there is a river of God's presence to take us through our storms and sustain us in our storms and to lead us and empower us and bring us all through us going. There's a river, the streets where I shall meet by the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacles of the most high. Someone says, Hallelujah, this is the man that walketh not in the course of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of the sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but is the light is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate and the meditate the night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and his leaves shall not wither, what shall make God shall prosper. Yes, Lord, amen. To be planted by the river of the oh Holy God. Ghost, to yes. wait on the Shekinah glorious anointing to empower us and to carry us through. Praise, Praise God, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is in the midst of that river. Yes, Lord Jesus. Ah, yes, she shall not be moved. God shall help from that right early. I have, I have, I have suffered. I have slept on this. I have eaten this psalm. I've drunk in this psalm. I, I have, I have, I have, I have really suffered in most of the storms, or most of these psalms through my storms. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. I know that what we are going through, even know that God is with us. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. He is in the midst of what we are going through because if He's not there, we we'll die. Because the principles and powers not make it easy for us. But when God comforts you in the storm, it's easy. He told me to take his yoke upon me and learn of him. For his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And then I'll find a rest for my soul. Glory to God. So God is in the midst of her verse 5. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early in his own time. Glory to God. Yes, I love this part here. Now we see this right left and center. We see the government of places. We have been seated the upon this forest, you know. I had a dream of something taking place and she herself in the road to hide when the police came. They were also controlled by the principals and powers and there were not with police. I, I want to be very careful here. I can't even say much. I don't know if I can explain this. But the principals and powers that work through these high rich craft workers are here to control the very authorities that they will go on errands and they are neutralized to do what they should do. And some of them themselves are really sold out to the devil when the devil tries to control them. They are well controlled and they see crime, they see hurt, they see disrespect, they see wrong things happening and they are on the scene and they can't do anything. And this is frightening. I didn't intend to say this. But it's happening. Yes. Yes. That's why I all have comes of the Lord who made it on earth. And even yes. those who are doctors and security people know that if God don't empower them at certain places in our lives, we will lose it. That's why we need to wait upon the Lord. Yes. And by God empowering them, they get to know the Lord who's gonna find the strength to receive to do what they have to do was not natural. When they couldn't do it generally had to do it what God brought them through. But so when we are standing, God answered those prayers and yes, give them strength. Hallelujah. They even the rage mm -hmm. and the kingdoms were moved. I've seen the political arena, arenas, I've seen the governmental arenas shift so much to the left since the last many years. For the last 50 years, I've seen so many changes in governmental places and political arenas and business places you know what i mean hallelujah so the eden rain the kingdoms are moved he uttered his voice on the earth melted when we are in this situation god knows to utter his voice he knows how to speak 
He uttered his voice, the earth melted. You gotta read Psalm 18. How David discovered some wonders of God in his life. When he waited upon the Lord and the Lord become wrath, and he discovered the channel of it uh, under the earth. He see so many, saw so many things. But we won't experience this kind of experience if we're not waiting on the Lord for him to get wrath and work some mighty things in our lives. Yes, ah, that I might know him. Amen. Praise God. Yes, Lord. So when God uttered his voice, in the very earth melts away. The Lord of hosts, this is plural, God has many armies. Yes, God taught David how to separate his army. He taught uh, Gideon how to separate his army. Those were just men like you and I. Yes. But God has armies of armies of armies of armies yes. to fight for us when we are loving glory to yes. God. So the Lord of hosts. Plural, the Lord of commands all kinds of many kinds of armies. God has all kinds of angelic army and all kinds of army. As a matter of fact, we are weapons of war in the hand of God, brethren. I like to let you know that God uses us as weapon of war, not just our mouth and our speaking, but He uses us as weapon of war against the enemy. When we submit to ourselves, saying that when He brings us out, we live in awe for the rest of our lives. The Lord of hosts is with the church of the living God, the God of Jacob, that protected Jacob because of his prophetic worth in him. Even though he was a schemer, God let him go through his experience and when he was going back to meet his brother, God changed the trajectory of his life and since that, God told me that his steps of a woman are all good by the Lord, that he got the lights in his way referring to Jacob. I said the Lord of hosts, the Lord of lords, no Lord like him, the God of Jacob, the Lord of hosts is with us. I must make that emphasis. And the God, the warrior of Jacob, is our refuge. Hallelujah. And then when the Lord wants to encourage us a little bit more intimately, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He says, Come. Come. Come behold all the works that I have done. That's why I'm going to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. We need to see the wonderful works that God has done. All the battles he has fought for the children of Israel, all the different variations of battles. That he has fought. Yes, Come the all the works of the Lord, and this is really in consideration and strength because you know that what he's done in the past, he'll do now and in the future. He just wants some people to stand, he just wants a person to stand. Come yes. the all the works of the Lord God of hosts. Yes. What this addition did made in all the earth. My wife testified about what happened. I think those beliefs recently. Yeah. Brazil? Brazil. I'm not afraid to call the name because it's out there. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound to mind. So when I see people playing under the cross of Calvary, I know what God will soon judge them and is repent. Hallelujah. And I know you're intercessors. I know you have a very humble heart. But let the Lord does his thing. They began to mock God publicly and dig a rip. I can't call that word. But it's such a poor, nasty, worthless, that no ordinary moral person would do. No common spiritual person do that. But to get out in the public and try to humiliate the Almighty God. The Bible says he become wrath. Huh? He sometimes allows some things for a time and season. But sometimes he judge some things and some people right away. Glory to God. Let us not tempt God, brothers and sisters. God is not to be played with. He respects no man's person. As I come behold the words of the Lord and of hosts, what desolation did made in all the earth. He makes war to cease unto the end of the earth. Amen. That's why I'm very supportive and very appreciative of Pastor David e. Taylor. Amen. Because he believed that God will yes. avert this war. Yes. God will turn things around as he did for the Ninevites. Yes. God will give us a chance. And so we consistent and persistently praying that God will avert this world war three because I'm telling you it won't be so nice. Hallelujah. He maketh war to cease under the end of the earth. Verse 9. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in sunder. He burns the chariot in the fire. Follow the children of Israel through the wilderness and see all God fight for them. Glory to God is still the same yesterday and forever. Yeah. If he did it for many years, he will do it for one. Yeah. If he did it for so many years, he will do it for us continuously. 
he breaks the bow of the enemy and cuts his ear asunder and then he burns it his carrot in the in, in, in the fire hallelujah to the love of god god still wants our people to stand so he can fight for them and fight for us glory to god then he says in his consolation here i just give you a few things that I have done in the past. I still say this to the other on forever. So can you be still? Just be still, my children. I am the head of our fears. Just be still. No weapon can touch you. As long as you are abiding in me and I am abiding in you. I got to use you as a weapon of war. I got to use you as a testimony. Don't be fearful, but be still and know. Know that you 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 cannot unknow that which you know. That I am God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I've experienced some difficulties in life. I've experienced face and face from me. I've experienced accidents right in front of me before they happen. And I have no strength. But I just have to call upon the name of the Lord. I've experienced not having the energy to even use my arm to my right hand at the command line from down here. Oh, glory to God, and God showed up. My God, I'm still alive. Yes. And I'll be alive as long as I desire to be alive to finish my destiny here and take up any one else that is left behind. Glory to God. He's saying, I just give introduction of a few things that I do. Can you just be still? And know that you know that you know that you cannot unknow what I've already confirmed and revealed to you. That I am God and I am well able to do exceeding abundantly above that which you're able to ask for things. Can I depend on you to just stand and let me stand in you? When you don't know what to do, the Bible says just stand as you've done all you can do. He just wants us to stand and then he will do what he has to do to work out our salvation for us. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Let me be exalted. You know, the earth. One moment we can see we have no reason, we have no reason to be here. Jesus Christ prayed in John 17 to that God will keep us here to carry on the gospel. We become citizens of heaven, but we are left here and kept here to show forth his praise and work out all salvation, fear and trembling by trusting in God that the evil might see that God is God. When they try to destroy us and God deliver us. Glory to God. The Lord of hosts. <laughs> this is how kind of consistent, uh, persistent amount of S's on it. The Lord of multiplication of army and wars is with us, brethren. My brothers and sisters there in Africa, my brothers and sisters where you are going through your experience, when you're young in the Lord and you're older in the Lord, or you feel feeble in the Lord, or you're one alone. I pray God's grace upon you, ladies, in your situation where you have no father, no husband, not a good male friend. This name, my Lord, is Bahaya. My God, my God. It is a man's responsibility to protect women and children. Instead, they abuse them, misuse them, and destroy them. But I want to remind you of one thing the Lord has brought to me that the angel of the Lord encamps around us who fears us and delivers us. Whether we are male or female, whether we are high or low, rich or poor, whether we are weak or we strong, as long as we're depending on his strength, he says the angel of the Lord encamps around those of us who fear him reverently and they deliver us. And we shall not guide our feet, he guide us some dash more feet against his tongue. The angel of the Lord shall do that. And I, I, I have experienced that too many times. He doesn't have to believe the word. And we honor him sometimes, he opens our eyes to see these celestial beings around us in their glorious different manifestations, protecting and guarding us, Lord God. Hallelujah. It's good to have faith in the Lord. That's why I encourage you to read the word. For the more you read the word, the more the word forms spirit within you and give you strength to overcome the Lord God of hosts. The God that we can only have an introduction to is introduction. 
and the God is so big and every saint who have known you from time immemorial to now shall come together and testify of him there night that they have not gone anywhere in him because God just starts all over again he is eternally and mighty and all powerful and is a friend he condescends to men of glory state of your humble self before him the Lord of hosts is my brothers and my sisters is with us the God who delivered Jacob mm -hmm. delivered him from stealing because God himself testified that the younger is going to serve and if the older hallelujah will not make it uh, the younger the older will serve the younger hallelujah God ordained a thing and God brought Jacob out of the end of safari in the scriptures of Jacob of his being here of his own mother even who would have kept the scheme against his own brother or own son hallelujah what God had Testified of Jacob for his glory and God brings us out. So it doesn't matter where we're at our situation, we are in even with like Jacob. God promised to bring us out. This is all I can say to you today. I can only share the word of God. I just humble myself and ask the Lord to use me. I'm not sorting like I used to. I just keep on humbling myself and wait before him. I said, Lord, just help me to share what I can share to bring my brothers and sisters through. So you brethren who are in your situations, we encourage you not to give up the whole done to God. If God doesn't give you a confidence in the spirit to be around you, the angels of the Lord are there. And the Holy Spirit is guiding you, hallelujah. And no devil can touch you. I am a living testimony of God's divine comprehensive protection in all phases of life. I am telling you that God is able to do exceeding above that thing, far above that which you need to ask or think. One side this is only trusting, yes, only trusting, only trusting now. He will save you, He will deliver you, He will heal you. He will bring you out pure as gold for his glory. And when he brings you out like gold, like Job, hallelujah, then he gives you another life to live, exhibit, take it. Huh? Yeah. When he brings you out, Job says that he knows the way that I take. And when I'm trying to come forth as gold, though the enemy tried to destroy me, yet in this flesh I shall see God. Job is an example to us, hallelujah. Let God bring us out like Job. Let God bring us all so we can have a face to face revelation, an intimate revelation that he exhibits us as gold and teaches us how to live as he exhibits us as gold. Come on, brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord. And the power of his might is God's word to you today. In Jesus' name, bless you, woman of God. Bless you, woman of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. God is good. Thank, Thank God. We have five more minutes of your time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, men of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, which is the word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As the man of God has spoken and the Lord message is saying, stand still or be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen and I will be exalted in the earth. Praise the Lord. I want to let you know that many of us are facing hard times. Many of the mothers, many of the fathers, many of our brothers and our sisters, even sometimes ministers are going through hard time. Many of us are going through persecution. Many of us are going through a need, a crisis or a situation but I want to let you know that God says be still and he's saying that he wants to encourage us today that we must give all of our anxieties over to the Lord during our hard times it is inviolable that we will have anxieties that we will have difficulties and we will have distress but despite feeling these emotions, the Lord wants to give us the strength to stand under them. He said, stand and lean on the Lord and he will give you and I strength. And he says that, Paul tells us that in his epistle in Ephesians or Philippians, he said, where we are to place our focus during our hard times. 
he tells us to think on whatsoever is true and noble and right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent and praiseworthy as in Philippians 4 verse 8. If we think about these things, getting through the hard times will be much easier. And if we set our minds and hearts on the Lord and the blessings in our lives, we will be able to overcome the hard times. A man who was familiar with hard times was Job, as the man of God just quoted there, that Job, he was a man of integrity. He was a man after God's heart. But Job lost all of his adult children. I don't know what you have lost. You may have lost your children. You may have lost your husbands or your wife. You, have, you will probably give up on everything. But I want to let you know that Job, he lost all his adult children. He lost all of his cattle. And he experienced the destruction of his home. And was covered in sores from head to toe all the day long. And this is not even including the fact that Job found out that he didn't have any loyal friends. Many of us may have lost some of our friends, our loyal friends, or maybe some of our family have even turned around and persecuted us. My God, my God, my God. But I want to let you know that even Job and his wife even urged him to curse God and die, as in Job 2 verse 9. Sometimes even our own spouse will even get at us sometimes. But I want to let you know that despite this hard time of Job's life, he never charged God with wrongdoing. We are not to charge our Lord God. We are not to charge Jesus of what we are doing because I want to let you know the man of God already spoken that he's molding us. He's molding. He's taking our pride out of us. He's taking out hurt and pain, abandonment and rejection. He's taking out accusation and slander and curse from our lives. And he's giving us humility. He's giving us meekness. He's giving us boldness. And he's taking out hate and he's replacing that with his love. Moreover, I'm not the speaker. Just give me five minutes. We are doing well. As you know, we are not going to be long before you, man of God. It's only 525. But moreover, I want to let you know that throughout the account of Job, Job never questioned God's goodness. Job says, God might kill me, but I have no other hope. I am going to argue my case with him. And this is another translation that in the same way we need to trust God throughout the duration of the hard times in our lives. You may have just entered a hard season. You may are going through the middle of this season or you're coming to the end of your hard times. I want to let you know that even though some hard times last the entirety of our lives, that we need to still trust in God and rely on Him. As the word said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Humility can be the result of hard times, as hard times have a way of diminishing pride, as I just said it. God is constantly molding and shaping us to reflect His Son, Jesus. Jesus was also humble and was never prideful. Similarly, hard times will help us grow in humility. Another person who was familiar with hard times was also our Apostle Paul, mighty God. We're coming down there. Paul, he was persecuted. He was also stoned. He was in prison and suffered greatly for the name of Christ. I want to let you know that if you are following the Lord Jesus Christ, and if you have accepted him, that you will be 
persecuted by family, your friends, and even relatives, I want to let you know, you may be cast into prison, which meaning that you have no one but God. But I want to let you know that the Lord says in Timothy that hard times were part of Paul's daily life. And the hard times experienced by Paul did not go away with time. In fact, the hard times increased as Paul's life went on. Paul died as a martyr for his faith in Christ at the ends of at the hands of Nero. Despite the hard times never ceasing in Paul's earthly ministry, he is now free from hard times. Now he is with Jesus. And so furthermore, the best, best example of person who went through hard times as recorded in the Bible was Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus went through pain. He went through pain. And he went through the foul accusations. Glory to God. And he also went through the crucifixion, if you have known that. That's my red rug, please. Praise God. I am just broken because when I think of what they did to Jesus, if they did this to our Savior and they did this to our Redeemer, what will they not do to us that he went through pain and went through false slander and accusations? Also the crucifixion. During Jesus' life, crucifixion was the worst type of death a person could experience. Death by crucifixion was reserved for only the worst criminals. And Jesus did not do anything deserving of death. However, the Jewish leaders, they sentenced Jesus to death by the crucifixion. Jesus' death was not the only hard time of his life as Jesus experienced sorrow, pain, and rejection throughout his life. Hard times were something Jesus was all too familiar with during his life. Jesus experienced the ultimate hard time for us in order to redeem us from our sins. All people will experience hard times in this life, but as believers, we have hope for the future, man of God. In eternity with the Lord, we will no longer have to fear hard times because everything will be made perfect as in 1 Peter 1, 3 to 4. And 2 Corinthians 4, 17 tells us, for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Glory to God. It is normal to have hard times in your life and my life, but there will be good times and bad times and hard times. Mighty God, mighty God. But if you find yourself going through a hard time today, ask the Lord to help you. He might not take you out of the situation, but he will give you his peace, as in John 14, verse 27. And God is in control, and he will give you strong to the end. He will keep you strong to the end. And few of us enjoy difficult season of life. However, hard times will bring us closer to God and strengthen our faith and this comes to now the prayer of faith and the prayer of redemption and repentance please repeat after me lord god almighty, lord, god almighty. I, love you, lord. I love you lord i admit i, admit. I have sinned against you i, against you. I, confess, I confess every sin, every sin that, has that has flowed into my life from my fathers, my fathers 
and my mother's lineage in the name of Jesus. Grant me a heart from repentance or of repentance from unbelief, anxiety, fear, doubt, distress, worry over the hard times in my life. I turn to you, Lord. In your word, God, I'll say this, man of God. Um, it says in uh, Philippians 4, 67, Paul says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. And now we finalize and say, I believe, I believe. that Jesus... Jesus, the, Christ the Christ is your son. Is your son. I, confess I confess that Jesus, Jesus died, for me died for me to be saved. To be saved. I, receive I receive him today, today into, my life, into my life in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Today, today I, trust him I trust him as my Lord, as my Lord and, Savior. and Savior. My salvation, my salvation is, preserved is preserved by the blood of of Jesus, of Jesus in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. and from this, day, from this day guide my life, guide my life. Help, me help me to do your will, do your will. Victoriously, victoriously triumphantly, triumphantly. I, pray, I pray in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Amen. amen and amen praise the Lord glory to God and I thank God for the speaker for the speaker today, I give God all the glory. Man of God, please take this for all that he has done and for what he's about to do. We give God all the glory. We give him all the praise. We give him all thanksgiving for what he has done and for what he's about to do in Jesus' mighty name. And I hand this back over to no other than Minister Solomon L. K. Navasso. God bless you, sir. Amen. 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 Thank you for your audience. Thank you for being with us and let us encourage you. And I think we are closing on this time. Hallelujah. Jesus. Will all pass away? 
but there is something about they want to sing one last time over the birthday of the saints. I'm not singing it for myself, I'm singing it for us all. I'm singing to declare God's blessing in your life. Now, Jesus, Yeshua, Shiloh, Lord, there is something uniquely special about that name. Mass. Savior, most reverend Jesus, like the fragrance after a blessed shower of rain. Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. Kings and kingdom, they shall all pass away. But there is something about that name. Father, to the best of all, to give ourselves in your hands and you have manifested your grace and your strength towards us and we have spoken your infallible, unsearchable riches of word. That's enough to save us and bring us into eternal peace with you here and hereafter. We submit ourselves in your hands. We submit the gospel we have preached to a shared thought in your hands. That you water these words in your own time and way, in the hearts of the hearers, and in your own mystical way, you can bring them to, in dreams and visions of those who are not hearing like we hear naturally. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you water your word in the hearts of your people as you forward their hearts to receive the word. And set traces of water to water the word. And allowing your son of righteousness to shine. That the word will germinate. Taking fruits, dull, roots downward in our hearts and bearing fruits of word. We thank you. And we call it done. Thanks to my wife. Thank you for thank you. Thank you. Her, her, her making this possible. Thank you for her surrender. Thank you for her combinations of multiplications of abilities gifts potentials that you use to make this service a success remember her today remember our marriage as a really in your hands gloriously remember all our needs you promise to supply our needs according to your and glory let those who see us not become covetous or envious because we like them are also going through we have to be tested and tried. We pray for those who are weak and has become weak, that you will succor them in the, all weaknesses. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes, Lord. It's you that girds us with strength, making our ways perfect, making our feet like ice feet and setting us up in our high places. Yes, Lord. Keeping our hands to war and our fingers to fight so that our ball speed is broken by our heart. So cover the audience that is online with us and will be alive with us with your precious blood, cleansed by the wash of water from the word, and pour by your spirit and bring my brothers and sisters through to your honor and glory until we meet again. Let us meet all these at the throne of grace and mercy. Let we meet before the most honored one, the Lord God himself, and to make our petitions known, and to find you faithful, just and true. This verse the more we ask with thanksgiving to your honor and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise Jesus. the Lord. God is good. Praise God. Mm -hmm.
bless you. You know who you are to our relative, to our family, to our friend. God bless you, Prophetess Minister Glenn. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you for our dear Spring McLeod. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our dear friend, our relatives. Thank you, Leticia. I love you, family in New York, America. God bless to all our relatives near and far in Florida and in Fort Lauderdale. And praise God, you know where you are. And our kingdom family, God bless you. Minister Evangelist, Mrs. Jane Eo, God bless you. We love you. To God be all the glory, all the praise. For those that I cannot see, God bless you to our dear African sister, our Chippewa. God bless you. <laughs> Chippewa Ali, God bless you. Chippewa Ali, we love you and your family. Thank you for your encouragement and for your prayers. I don't know, but I cannot see everyone, but I know you guys are watching. Praise God, and God sees it secret, so he will honor you all for your faithfulness. And I thank God for my lover, my friend, our children. As you know, it's the March break for our children here this week. The children will be off school, and it is celebrating uh, the time of fellowship and family gathering. So I thank God for what he has planned and how he's going to lead us to celebrate this time with work and balance with the children and family. I give him all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving, and we are praying for his leading and his guidance and his direction. And I give honor to our mothers, our, our praise God, and our dear spiritual father. Again, we love you, and we love God, we love Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we thank God for his glory. This is all to the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Anything else, man of God? Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. You can stop there, man of God. Okay. Praise God. All right. You can finish yours. <laughs> We cannot go, but you know, we got.